Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing February monthly readings. Looking at what's in store in February and this will be for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus signs. Thank you for joining me. As always, keep an open mind. These are general. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. Be sure to watch all your signs. Your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Um, you can also check out the weekly readings on this channel. They're timeless, so whenever you feel drawn to any of them, that's when you should watch it because there's a message there for you. Information about private readings is always in the description box below. And please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you if you have. I really do appreciate the support. Four of Wands, full out, new job, new home, commitment, marriage, promotion. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus signs in February 2022. What's going on, King of Swords, your energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus signs in February 2022. I heard December, so something you're dealing with in December might be coming back around. Or something you started in December is playing out now, I don't know. Ace of Cups, nice. Four of Wands, there it is. Yeah, marriage, proposals, pregnancies, Knight of Pentacles, thinking about the future. Six of Pentacles in the foundation, the devil in the past, Seven of Wands in the outcome with the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. There's communication, there's an offer coming in. There's communication. Flirty, passionate, you might be dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be job offer as well, or promotion. You're looking at an offer made, okay, that is a dream come true for you. The challenge is the four of wands. So either it's a case of you're making the offer and you have to wait and see if it's accepted, and if a commitment takes place. For others of you, this could be you do have the devil in the past, so this could be you're already in a commitment with the Four of Wands when this offer is coming through with the Ace of Cups and it puts you in the devil type energy where you're stuck between two, you're not sure what to do. Or you want to make a commitment, but you're already in a different kind of commitment. It's about keeping the balance, it's about doing things the right way. Okay, this is also something that you will have asked for, worked for, it is now coming to you, you're receiving what you deserve. It's also a case of balancing out a situation. It can be reunion or reconciliation for some of you. Something was wrong in the past. It was completely off balance. There were control issues. There was uh, fears, right? Doesn't always have to be control issues or cheating. There, was, there were fears that was holding back. And it's almost like now someone is in balance and they're ready to completely give their heart. It's a case of will it be accepted? especially if there was a breakup prior because of these issues. Someone's thinking about the long term with the Knight of Pentacles. They're ready to put in the work. They know it will take time to develop this, but they're ready for it. They're ready to work for it, okay? In the outcome, we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. If this is you making this offer, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very guarded. They may, may even reject it or push you back with the seven of wands here because of what happened in the past. However, if you persevere, you can bring this back around and make it better. Just be aware, they may make you work for it. But if it's something you truly want, it's like they want it too, but it's almost like they want you to make up for what you did in the past. And that will prove to them that you really want this, okay? They want you, yeah, that's what this is. They want you to work for it. But either way, you can't have what you want here. For others of you, I'm seeing a new home here. You're getting the money. Maybe you were in, living in a less than pleasant environment or in a, a, a space that was very small, maybe a bad neighborhood. It didn't feel very safe, but it was about the money. You didn't have the money to move to a better place. And now that is coming through. There's some sort of good news. So I don't know if it's news about a loan or money you've asked for or someone offering to support you or someone offering you to live with them for a while and it's such a big place and it's such a beautiful neighborhood 
or it's a case of a new job or a new business endeavor, uh, a new client that gives you that influx of money that you needed and now you get to buy your own place or to move to your dream place, okay? I'm also seeing that. There is celebration. You're gonna have to get yourself organized because there's a lot going on. Um, but you are, it's like you are joining a new group of people, a new neighborhood, a new community. It might be quite at a distance compared to where you are with the Wheel of Fortune, maybe even abroad or a different state. Okay. I also see this as someone has been offering this to you and you've been fighting their help or fighting their support and now you're becoming open to it so you could be collaborating with someone, working with someone, moving in with someone. But it sparks a new cycle in your life. I feel like it puts you on a much better path compared to where you have been. A bit of a mixed bag there. Okay, so let's see what this is here. I guess more, let's get more clarification. What's this devil in the past? Three of Swords. Yeah, there was definitely a, a heartache, heartbreak, sorrow, separation, breakup. And you're trying to revive it or reconcile it or this is the other person. Take it as it resonates. Okay, I'm reading the energies here. Um, just be aware, whoever this is that's trying to revive this, they're going to have to work for it. That's the other person's way of testing them to make sure that they really want this. Okay, it's like I don't, I don't care about the, these beautiful words or these beautiful gifts. I want to see the work. They're going to make it work for it, okay? But it works out in the end, right? You just have to kind of prove yourself or they have to prove themselves. Um, whatever situation you were in that was res restrictive, um, it felt like you were stuck or trapped and miserable. It might have been because you didn't have what you needed to get out of it or you didn't have money to get out of it. Literally, it could be about, you know, where you lived or the situation you're in at work or a, a particular difficult client or even a situation with your family, right? Where you may have had to live with family for a while, but it turned into this very toxic thing. But you didn't have the money to get yourself out. Now you do. That's what this is, okay? So let's see. What this four of wands? Why is that a challenge? Yeah, you're going to have to work for a commitment and work to restore a commitment, work to prove yourself in a commitment. Or the challenge was you didn't have enough money yet to get yourself this new place. You didn't have enough money yet uh, or you didn't have a job to then apply for something you wanted, right? Because one of the requirements was for you to be employed for a certain amount of time or something along those lines. And for those of you, I feel like there was a shift this is a shift in focus and a shift in your priorities because a breakup might have happened because you were too focused on work or too focused on your responsibilities and not enough on the commitment that you made to this other person in a romantic situation. That might have led to the breakup as well. And this is a shift in priorities, Knight of Pentacles as well, that restores the connection, puts it back on track, puts it in a better direction, and puts you in a better direction because now you have a bit of a more balanced approach to life. It's not just about work and your other commitments fall to the wayside. It's a balanced approach. So that's pretty good, Aquarius. The Knight of Pentacles crowning you. Temperance. Yeah, you're thinking about things in the long run. And again, we have a balanced energy here. Something has come into balance that was previously very toxic. And clarifying the outcome. Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords. And the two of wands. Under the page of wands, we have the six of cups. Yeah, definitely reconciliation energy. Seven of, seven of swords. Someone ran away from a commitment and now they're ready and they're restoring that situation, right? I don't feel like you see this coming or they don't see this coming, but there's still a lot of love here and that's why this is happening. The two of wands, like I say, it's a new path. It's either a new way of doing things. It's a, a new approach to a current commitment or it is shifting course. You're literally moving. For some of you, like I say, it's abroad. It's very, very far from where you are now. If this is an online thing, and that's why it kind of fell apart because 
it's difficult, it's challenging to have an online relationship, a long distance relationship. Um, I feel like this is where one of you or, or yeah, one of you decides, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take the plunge and I'm gonna move to where you are where you move to where I am or let's move somewhere in the middle and start our new life there. Okay, it can be that. But I mean, either way, it looks good. It looks very good, Aquarius. So you're gonna have to tell me what this is if you resonate with the reading. And if you do, I hope it helps you. All right, so have a great month and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.